Ooh. And there, the handle's done for on that thing too. That's pretty impressive. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we're gonna take a look at these quarter inch drive ratchets here, the Snap-on, the Tecton, the Capri tools, and the Icon ratchet. We're gonna stress test these as well as talk a little bit about the price points and see where the best bang for your buck is on these ratchets. So the whole thing here started because this is still one of my favorite ratchets with the locking flex head with the nub here. It started slipping in the on position. There you go. So see, that is what was happening, but not in the off position. So we still use that one a little bit, but we have a repair kit for that one. And that one brand new runs you roughly $145.50. So knowing the price point on the Snap-on ratchet here, if you take a look at the Tecton ratchet here, this is the quarter inch quick release locking with the detent so it doesn't fully lock, but it kind of stays in position. This will run you roughly $20. Yeah, believe it or not, that Tecton there is $20. So in order to get remotely closer to the $145 on the Snap-on, you would not only have to get that ratchet, you would have to get the fixed head quarter inch drive ratchet at $18. And then you could throw in this whole entire, and this is one of my favorite sets. This is the Tecton quarter inch complete metric and SAE set. You get the ratchet, you get the nut driver in there, you get four to 14 on metric in shallow and deep, as well as the SAE and the two extensions up there, 5.30 seconds up to 9 16 that runs you $55. So in total for the Tecton with the two extra ratchets, that would run you $91 compared to the Snap-on, which offers a huge bang for your buck. Now the Capri Tools ratchet here, this one is a swivel head, doesn't lock, doesn't have a quick release, and to my knowledge, they don't have any comfort grip in that. But in order to get you remotely closer to the $145 on the Snap-on ratchet here, you would have to not only pick up the 3 8 inch, but the half inch a set of three ratchets here from Capri will run you around $100. And again, that is a little bit less than the Snap-on as well as a little bit more than the Tecton. Here you can see the Icon ratchet from Harbor Freight. You know, this one's gonna run you $34.99. And to get this one even remotely close, to the snap-on, you're gonna have to add a fixed head ratchet for $30. And then you can also add both the metric shallow and the deep sockets, and even this Carlisle Tools Mechanics Time Saver socket holder. You can see here that the sockets survive that. They work really well. You could put snap-on ones in there, you could put Craftsman, you could put the Tecton ones in there. And adding up all of these here would run you $135. So that is still going to come in cheaper than the Snap-on ratchet here. So now knowing all the price points on the ratchets, let's go ahead and torture test to failure the Snap-on versus the Capri tools versus the Icon. And finally, the Tecton there. We're going to see which one of these is the strongest ratchet, see how they perform. So today we are going to be using the Quinn Digital Torque Meter from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna roll a clip here and show you just how accurate this meter is. So while I find everything truly fascinating about this video, one variance can be the digital torque meters. So I took it upon myself to head down to a local calibration facility that is A2LA accredited under ISO standards. Both of my digital torque meters tested very well within 1% variance of a certified and calibrated NIST traceable machine. And this thing was amazing. It's expensive, but I can tell you my digital torque meters are at least accurate. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to maybe set the bar as high as possible. We're gonna start off with the Snap-on ratchet here. We're gonna see how the Snap-on performs. Now, hopefully here I can show you the slippage that I was having on the reverse 
There you go. So see, that is what was happening on this ratchet. And it didn't happen every single time, but just, there you go, enough that we knew that there was an issue with this. And so we're gonna stop doing that. We're gonna switch it to the off position here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this ratchet to failure. Go ahead and choke up on the quarter inch ratchet so we don't damage the yoke on this. And then we're gonna see how the anvil on this performs. So we got 72.0 foot pounds. So here on the snap-on, we have an anvil shear at 72 foot pounds. So up next here, we have the Tecton quarter inch quick release locking detent flex head. We'll go ahead and do some test pulls on that. It's a good length on here. It allows you to get a lot of force on there. So 58.2. Oh geez, 62.4 by hand on a quarter inch drive ratchet. That's really, really impressive here. Really liking that. We'll see if we can take that to failure by hand. 66.6, .6. mechanism sounds really, really nice on there. No, no issues on that. Now, because this is a flex head, let's see if there's any extra wiggle or movement in that yoke. Doesn't seem like we have any real issues compared to where we were at before. So that's looking mighty nice. So really impressed with the Tecton ratchet there. All right, we'll give it one more pull here by hand. See how it performs. That thing is a beast. We're gonna go ahead and put that cheater pipe on there. So now we're gonna take this tech into failure. We'll choke up on our pipe here. We'll see what we can do with the tectin. So the tectin ratchet coming in at 74.0 foot pounds. And you can see that the anvil was definitely sheared off on there. Nice clean shear. Everything twisting off, shearing just like we would expect on the Tecton ratchet. And a little play in there. Nothing out of the ordinary. So here is the Icon ratchet from Harbor Freight. This is a Comfort Grip 90 tooth ratchet. And it does not have any detents or any lock on the swivel. So here you can see that no issues, no binding up like we had on the 3 8 inch dry ratchet. So everything performing really, really nicely on the Icon from Harbor Freight. We're gonna go ahead and choke up on this one. We're gonna take it to failure. Yeah, buddy, 82.3 foot-pounds. So the Icon had a clean shear at 82.3 foot-pounds. And that's pretty much one of the strongest ratchets we saw today. But also, that one is not a quick release where the other ones were. So that is a big difference when it comes to ratchets but 82.3 foot-pounds on a quarter-inch drive ratchet is pretty darn impressive. And here we have the quarter-inch drive Capri Tools ratchet. This is a non-quick release ratchet. This was released in September slash October of 2019. So it's relatively new to the market. It's a 72 tooth single pawl design. And it's not having any issues getting up to 50 foot pounds and even 60 foot pounds by hands. No bind ups, no stops. Pretty decent, impressive ratchet. So that's a good bang for your buck ratchet right there. 
So action sounds really nice on there, no bind ups. We're gonna go ahead and take the Capri Tools ratchet to failure. So that definitely round off the internals on that gear. So the pole's fine. It didn't snap, but it still produced a really decent high torque value on there. Go ahead and try here one more time. And yeah, it's done. Go ahead and switch directions, but the way it ground off those teeth, it is done. 69.6, yeah, we are still catching on some of the teeth. We'll jump over to the other side here and see if we can just grab on and just rip into those teeth. All right, so we switch directions here. We'll go ahead and just lay into this thing. And yeah, the internals on that, they're done for. And there, the handle's done for on that thing too. That thing took a lot of abuse. That's pretty impressive. So taking a look at the ratchets here and my final thoughts on these, the Icon ratchet actually ended up producing the largest torque amount at 82.3 foot-pounds. Really impressed with that clean shear on there. Not any damage to the yoke. Really broke how I had wanted to. And the nice thing about Harbor Freight, they are super easy to deal with when it comes to their no haggle, no questions warranty. And that would be a huge selling point for me looking at the Icon Ratchet. Now, next up was the Capri Tools coming in at 75.3 foot pounds, which is still really impressive because it beat out the Tecton and the Snap-on. So Capri Tools is one of those other tool companies that, you know, they're online at capritools.com. It's going to have a warranty page that you'll just have to basically fill out, give them a picture, and they'll look up the rest of your information. They'll hopefully have you something out in the next three to five business days. Shipping, depending on where you're at, might differ. But that ratchet there is pretty impressive, and they also do monthly tool deals, a lot of BOGO stuff very similar to what you would get on a tool truck. And that again was the Capri Tools ratchet producing very good numbers. So then we had the Tecton ratchet coming in at 74 foot pounds, which is still really, really impressive for a quick release. Internal sound really well. We just had that clean anvil shear and that is how you would like to see a break should you have any issues with your tool. Now, thankfully we didn't have any handle flex bend or issues there. Tecton's easy to deal with with their warranty, and they always are pretty straightforward on their pricing. What you see is what you get. Tell you exactly the country of origin where all their tools are on their website, and really have no complaints about their product. That definitely produce the best pound torque per dollar out of all the ratchets here. And then finally, we had the Snap-on ratchet coming in at 72 foot-pounds. And this ratchet had that clean anvil shear on there. And that handle out of all of these has the least amount of flex and give. So that is really nice to see on there. Still does happen to be one of my favorite ratchets. If it continues to have issues and needs a rebuild every six months, that's not gonna be very impressive for the long run, but We'll report back on this in about another six months or a year. If it's still holding strong, then that's still gonna be at the top of the bunch. Otherwise, there's always room in my toolbox for other tools. So guys, Icon, thanks you for joining. And Tecton says, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Snap-on says here, if you are not getting the latest notifications and you are a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and then hit it again. And Capri Tool says, as always guys, Work smarter, not harder, and we'll catch you in the next video.